So I find it really interesting that my film often gets screened around Halloween. I can't imagine why. I think it would work really well at Easter time or maybe Valentine's Day. But you be the judge. A variety described my film as a David Lynchian fever dream on Beatrix Potter terrain. And New York Times described it as much a work of sculpture as cinema. And recently, Van Goria described it as an animal fable, both dark and explicitly feminist in its mission. Blood tea and red string gives new meaning to the word handmade. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter. And you can find out about my other projects on my website, kristensagavsky.com. Strap yourselves in for an original head trip, according to the New York Post.